and we'll use cheats and get back there. It literally could not roll a worse fucking nether. <laughs> because we continue no matter what. So, so like if something like this might take me fucking 20 minutes to get in the nether. There's no way it's as bad. Speaking of, there is a ch uh, village, so maybe not. Where did that go? There it is. Where's the village? Is that it? Hmm. I can I can pie chart radar for a fucking village. It's close. We should just be able to see it. What? Which direction? It's literally in my render. At three. It's then this way, the way I didn't go. Yeah. Yeah, now we get to watch from the start again. There's another, oh, okay. Another ruin portal. These villages usually don't have a lot of food. There's a blacksmith, but I think it's just from that thing. I don't think there's an actual blacksmith house. <clears throat> the door on this side. Oh, that is a blacksmith. And free food. Thanks, wolves. Cool. Oh, uh, there's probably a golem here. There's so many houses, right? I don't want to make a pickaxe till I see it. There's a fountain. He's right there. Okay. Did I get this bed? Probably want enough for uh no. We don't really need that, uh this. He's gonna like climb that, right? <laughs> oh my god, okay. I didn't think he'd get all the way up top. The portal has lava, I think. I need food though. More food lying on the ground? I want to find gravel on the way. So we can light things on fire and kill them. Or a flint and steel inside of it. Uh, worst case, we'll go all the way over there then. Everything's fine. Flint, flint, flint. Come on. Yeah. Oh, wait. Give me that. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Let me get some food. Come here, piggy. That's it. Okay. There's more piggies that way. We got one from that big. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. The, what the? It's a god, dude. Hit the fire! <laughs> wow! Actually, how? Are those cows? I, there's, why is there no food here? There were so many mobs on the way. This is so silly. <laughs> I have to go like a hundred blocks from the portal to get mobs. They're too smart. Oh, that one's dumb. Uh, I hope that's good enough. There's probably enough lava to do the easier design, but I'm just gonna make it off to the side. Something like that, I don't know. I have so much uncooked food, dude. Can we make it taller? I don't know. Uh, like that? No, I don't think that's how I was intending to do it. Like that. No, no, okay. I haven't done this in so freaking long. I feel so horrible at the game. Because I probably am. Cool. I kind of screwed it up. Um, Maybe a bastion. All right, don't shoot at me. Is that a fortress? No, okay. Uh, yeah, definitely a bastion. So now, I'll, 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 I don't wanna do the whole explanation thing every time I do this, but hopefully we just do one and no reset. So there's 20 here, 40 here, so that's 60 entities and then there's 90 entities there, so there's 30 entities at a bastion somewhere. So then we lower our FOV and look around for a bunch of 30 to 40. There's a bunch of 30 to 40 that way. So just for proof of concept. Only when I look that way, there's 40 or 50. So we know it's that way. And I see it. And if there was a spawner, we'd know that there was also a chance that there being a fortress close, but there's not. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I have gold too, which is good because if we're going to a bastion, we're going to get gold and we're going to get a lot of gold. So then I can do this, this. My inventory is so cluttered already, it is absolutely ridiculous. Just here, we'll do some, we'll do some sorting. We'll put the blocks over there. Fucking. You don't need you. <laughs> so I can actually think. Yeah, I'd probably do try to do a better job in the actual marathon explaining it, but that's kind of what I'm doing when I'm doing that. Like it's some blocks so I don't waste all my wood later, I guess. I don't know what I need wood for. I already have enough beds to beat the game. More blocks. So this is housing, Bastion. Housing is usually fast and easy to do. Uh, let's go right down so we can save our blocks. That doesn't always work, by the way. <laughs> I do want to go a little higher in case the wood catches on fire. We'll do no such thing, no such speed bridging. 
because we don't want to die. Is there any other blocks I can waste? These? Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't need the wood. I want a little bit, but fine. Is there like a path across to this? Okay, we might get smacked, so I'm gonna eat some of this. Those guys are kind of blocking where I'm going. Then we do this route. Try to get a bunch of pigs on us. This is the only kind of fast route I feel somewhat safe doing in a in a marathon. I put blocks there and they can't hit us unless they have a bow. And then I'll play it extra safe and put, break that block there before I break this one. And put a block in my head and they can't hit me again. Now we dig down here and then we make a little spot for them to stand. Fill in the little gap so they don't put any pearls in there that we can't reach. And we start giving them the goods. And then just in case there's like a gap, usually there isn't in this bastion and I don't think you have to hit hard on this bastion. But in case there's a gap that they're too scared to jump down, we change the difficulty to hard sometimes and the, all the pigs will jump down larger gaps with, without a regard for their actual safety. Uh, I should, this route is so fast that we should just be throwing the gold to them before mining it all. I'll keep the arrows just in case. It comes down to it and we need to make a bow and arrow they should give us strings as well and there is some pearls already because this route gives you a lot of gold and another thing we can do i don't have uh, a gravel actually but we can put gravel on their heads lots of string um we don't need you 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 i'll take you we don't need you. We have some gravel, so we can put the gravel on their heads like that. And now all the all the stuff is pushed up to our level now, so we can reach everything. I would like to grab these pearls though, and then we split the pearls in our inventory like that, and then we picked up all of them because, okay, they do have more gold that I stole from them. The gold does belong to the pigs. Uh, and I have enough obsidian to blind travel, which is cool. We can go check the top as well for more obsidian. Because then we could do calculated travel, kind of, sort of. I don't actually use a calculator and do like the full calculated method that some players do. I don't really, I think it takes away from the fun of the run using a calculator. Um, I completely understand why it's allowed though. There's a lot of pigs there, but those are not close enough to get aggroed on us. We'll grab that. Or, uh, I already have a bunch, I guess, of iron if we need to make something else. And I, I was close enough to aggro a couple of those pigs there. I do want to check out those chests, but I don't think it's worth dying over. So that one might chase me back down here, but this back down is the only way out anyways. Just so he... Uh, doesn't bother us anymore. We'll do that. <laughs> and what's our food situation looking like? Not amazing, but we should manage. We can always grab a lava bucket and light some things on fire with that. Um, we'll make a bow. I probably want to do the one cycle method in the marathon, and the bow is just a backup. <clears throat> And now, what we, what we should have done while we were trading, but I'm too slow, is look for the fortress. I don't want to do it here now that I hear a skeleton anymore, because there's a lot of lava around. A little bit annoying. There's two. Oh no, that was just him burning. So put on F3, uh, trunk borders, uh, and then bring up the pie chart and look for a spawner. Come on, game. Come on, game. If we don't find one... Okay, so there is a spawner. 
It was around 29. Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and then we go one chunk each direction until it loads in because we know it's one chunk away from uh, the 28 chunks that we have loaded in already, if that kind of makes sense. So it's that way. Uh, we run really fast right now because we have soul speed on. I have 17 pearls, so we can afford to throw a couple. It's actually not that far. We're just gonna have to pop one of these. You also get fire resistance potions. Uh, let's see if I can thread the needle here and not die. Um, this is kind of unfortunate because, can I break this? Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have a proper block in my hand before I did that. So we can't really place gravel. So I have 16 pearls. We can afford to throw a couple, but we don't want to. But we want to take advantage of the fire resistance that we have on. Because we only have so many potions. And like it's it's sort of risky to throw pearls, but not as risky if we have fire res on. I'm going to throw a pearl up there. Usually it's better to be on the higher ground. So you can move down faster than you can move up. Hopefully that lands. Okay. You can also see extremely far because it screws up your POV um, when you have soul speed on and you're running. It kind of makes people feel sick. I can always lower the POV a little bit. Uh, I want to drop down on the solid land with my boat. It's, this is also a little bit risky. Sometimes the boat will just break and you'll die. Or you can miss. <laughs> no, I don't have enough for another boat now. It should be pretty close to the fortress. If it is a fortress and not a bastion. Small chance that it's a bastion with a mob spawner in it, which would be the treasure bastion. There's four types of bastions. Treasure bastion, bridge bastion. The one we did is state. No, the, the one we did is um, housing. And then the last one is stables. Uh, I think we go up there and if we don't see it, we'll use the pie chart radar thing again that we did. Ah, uh, I could use those for food though. We can set them on fire and kill them. He can climb my blocks. All right. <laughs> I hear another one above me. Okay. So I'll check that little opening up there and then we'll, we'll actually use the radar again. Kind of strat that we did. Uh, the music stopped. Do I still have my fire or did I throw it away? It is in my hand. Okay. But we can set you on fire. Oh, no. Okay. We set the, the our friends on fire, unfortunately. The babies are annoying because they never stop aggroing on you until you kill them. I mean, neither do these guys, but they're a little bit more predictable. I say that and it's just not moving die there is a better strat to set them on fire with a lava bucket we don't have a lava bucket this might cost me more food from regeneration from killing them <laughs> okay it didn't fall in the fire and we got a bunch speaking of fire I have a fire res in my hands at all times just in case something unpredicted happens un unpredictable happens uh i gotta get a little bit higher up i don't want to waste it actually we were gonna pie chart radar right because i don't see it it could be back in the wall it's kind of hard to do with these guys chasing me up here let's see if i can get to somewhere without them 
like over here ish. Yeah. And we'll do the thing again. We're probably close ish. Are getting closer, but it was really far away. At 21, 22, 23. Oh, God. Right? 25 or 26, I think that was. So we gained like no ground. It was probably off on an angle. 25. So we do it, set it to 24. And I go this way. And I go this way. And they finally found me, but they're too late. And it's this way. Yeah, so we were going that way. And now that it's this way, it's probably a little bit back in the direction we were heading. I'll use my boat. I don't have a boat. That's right. How many pearls do we have? 15 pearls? We should probably walk. Yeah, so, uh, because it didn't, we, we traveled 300 blocks this way and it kind of didn't, we didn't get that much closer, but we definitely gained some ground. I think that we passed it a little bit going this way. So we're going to go a little bit back. To the left while going this direction or we're gonna try to I hear a skelly He's gonna shoot me down yep yep there's two that's so cool they're hugging it out they're deciding who gets to kill me Uh, I don't really see any openings. Hey, buddy, can you leave me alone? Thanks, buddy. He tried. Uh, that might be a little opening there into um, the basalt biome kind of thing. Can I make that jump? Yeah. All right, show me a fortress. Come on. <laughs> Ow. All right, don't see the fortress yet. Um, oops, wrong button. Those guys are going to catch up in a second to me. Slimes are the freaking worst. 12. So it's that way. Can we go that way from here? We might have to go back. This biome is very, very hard to travel through. There's our friend, the Scully. Uh, we, surely we're almost there. Uh, let's go this way. I'm going to turn this corner and it's going to be right in front of me. Who's ready? Oh, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you can't do that with gravel. Oh. Oh, I see it. Look at that. 
Yo, we found it. How high up am I? Is this the top? Yeah. Alright, we have food. Let's make, um... Uh, let me get more of you, and then... Eat some of you, because I already have a lot of health. I want my health back though. Uh, make make some of you. Sure. I'm just gonna go for the spawner because it's easier to handle. Especially when we have fire res, we're away from uh, wither skeletons typically around the spawner. The spawner will always spawn in this part, it's like a balcony part, not the inside part where there's a bunch of chests. <clears throat> and it'll always have staircase, a staircase like that leading up to it too. And I will pop one of these. I, I just looked at the other spawner while I um, looked to my left and used the potion. There is a strategy where you can use a bed and blow up the blocks around the spawner. I don't really want to do it. <laughs> I could maybe learn how to do it though. But it's it's a little bit faster than what I'm doing now, which is just breaking the blocks around it. And the more blocks you break around it, the more likely there is um, to blazes to spawn or more blazes to spawn when they do. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, another thing I don't like about uh, doing the bed strat, we're three for three, that's good, uh, is you break a lot of the blocks on the side, and the blocks on the side kind of trap the blazes. Makes makes it uh, harder for them to escape. They're pretty easy to kill if you have fire res, you just don't go close to them, and you're good. Uh, I used all of my cobblestone, so we can't make a furnace while we're here. Uh, another thing is we could go check out the other spawner because blazes are guaranteed to spawn the moment you go to a spawner. Uh, we're, we're pretty much done here though. Blaze spawns are 50% every time you kill one. You either get one or you don't. And we're 5 for 5. Which is insanely lucky. Uh, we just went seven for seven. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, origin, which is zero zero on my coordinates, and my coordinates are X and Z, and then Y will be your height. We're gonna go back as far as I can. I tr actually should grab another rod if I'm doing a no reset, just to be safe. We did not go eight for eight. Yeah, yeah, we'll grab another one just to be extra safe. As the eyes uh, have a 1 in 5 chance of breaking every time you throw one. So if you throw 3 eyes, you could get... It, 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 it's like a 1 in 25 chance this happens, but I could throw my first 3 eyes and have all of them break, right? And then it could like completely kill the run. We'll try to multitask while we're here a little bit. Never mind. I have 30 seconds left on my fire res, but we have another. And now I can't seem to get a rod. <laughs> so we went um, 7 for 7 and then 0 for 5 in the last 5. So the luck is balancing out now. <laughs> we can kill our friend over here. Uh, I just aggroed two of those though. We should be a little bit careful. Okay, one more fire resistance potion. We'll just wait it out. Uh, whoops. There we go. We got our last one. There's really no point in grabbing more because we only have 15 pearls, but we're just not going to throw any more pearls. So I do have that one extra potential eye with the eighth. Uh, we literally don't need that. And we're going to go back now as close as I can to the origin zero zero. 
we could just go here though is you never know where the strongholds are right now we're um very far away from where you, I, you would ideally blind travel um but there's multiple strongholds in the game that can spawn farther and farther away from the origin so chances are we're going to be running to one of those really really far away strongholds and because of our coordinates chances are it's going to be really really far away but we will triangulate it using math. We'll make a few of those. And using the numbers that are under where it says advancements, uh, one of those two numbers is our angle, the one that's changing a bunch. I'll throw an I. I should be in third person while I do that because I have no idea where the I went. I kind of line up with the I. And the, the angle is negative 70.5, right? Grab that eye. Right, go back to where I was standing, kind of. Should have probably placed a block to mark it. And then I'll go like a certain amount of blocks to the one side or the other, like the opposite or perpendicular direction. I think that's the right word. So like 20-ish blocks, kind of, sort of. We'll throw another. And the angle changed by uh, 0.8, approximately, which is pretty OK for how far away we blind traveled from the origin. Uh, now I'll grab a boat. It doesn't look like there's any trees over here. Uh, there's a strat you can do if you're stuck without a boat uh, swimming and you can lower your render distance down to like three or four and now we're more likely to have dolphins spawn more likely to have all the entities in the game spawn yeah I'll raise that back up so you can actually see where we're going uh, just in case we still need a boat. So with a 0.8, 0.9-ish angle change, the stronghold is approximately uh, 1,200 blocks away from where we initially threw the first two eyes. And we're mainly going uh, negative x, or we're, we're going down, our, our x-coordinate is going down. So we'll look for it around, like, I, I probably around 1,300 or negative 1,300 X is what we'll look for. And then we just try to go fast. We can use our boat in certain situations where we don't want to take fall damage. Uh, keep uh, a different, we'll keep um, two food. So uh, another good thing to know if you're playing the game even casually is cooked food gives you more regeneration so if you're uh well, I'll, I'll eat these just so you can see like two of them and then you can see my heart goes up kind of slow and because it's meat we still get um one and a half hearts but if that mutton was cooked i believe we get three hearts Um, not that long. It it all depends on the terrain, right? This is pretty flat terrain. I can jump on top of trees. I can boost off of the trees using jump. Um, that's also something I should probably explain at the beginning of a run when we're running around with the talking about movement and stuff. So jumping um is slightly faster than sprinting, but so like you can see there when I'm jumping off the trees, we can just constantly spam jump. You get a little bit of an acceleration boost kind of when you when you jump. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be there shortly enough. Soon enough. Um, so, I mean, obviously going faster is good in your speed run, right? But another great thing about jumping is Jumping consumes hunger and so does sprinting. But if you're jumping constantly while you're sprinting, it actually consumes less hunger 
bars than it would if you were just holding sprint. The reason for that is, uh, well, now we can't sprint because we only have three bars of hunger. The reason for that is because the more time you spend in the air, the less time you are sprinting, the less time, and the less time you're sprinting, the less time your hunger bars go down. So you still are consuming a decent amount of hunger by jumping around and sprinting, but not as much as you would if you were just sprinting in a straight line. And sprinting is just faster, or sprinting and jumping is just faster too, which is great. Um, it's trolling me? It ran the other way around the tree? <laughs> we need some more food. I don't want to be eating raw food. We'll get rid of it and eat it, and then we'll eat the other food so we get our hearts back. And we're, we've almost covered all the ground already. Uh, I'll throw another eye shortly. I could even throw it now, but I don't want to risk any breaking unnecessarily. I'm pretty confident it's at least another 300 blocks. And because we've gone so far, we may as well triangulate it a second time just to see how, how close we are. And so I can show off the strat again. Uh, so as long as there's no mobs around me We could also for the sake of safety take a little nap Now all the mobs will burn oh, Except for that one Let's go in this nice open field there's an enderman. We can get another uh, eye of ender. Alright, so, there one. And now it went way to my right, so we're probably really close. About 45 degrees. So now I'll go over here. It, this is kind of more of a rough estimate. I'm not going a specific amount of blocks and calculating it. Yeah, so it's actually not as close as I thought. We were just going straight and it was a little bit to the right with our initial angle, but it's pretty close now. And none of our eyes are broken, so we can kind of keep throwing them freely. Uh, well, it's still day and we're not in the um, stronghold, I'm gonna make all of the important stuff we need to beat the game and some backup stuff just in case. So, uh, we need some obsidian, want some more beds, we got wool from the bastion, so I'll make two more beds, it'll be way more than enough. Uh, I'll make one of you, because we have arrows, in case we screw up the one psycho, we can shoot down his little health beacons. Uh, we shouldn't need any of this other garbage, useless materials, I think we're good. <clears throat> no, I'm about to beat my estimate. Estimate's gonna be an hour. It could be longer, but I'd probably like I couldn't like on average it won't be. We're gonna do more test runs, but this would be decent enough to submit probably. Cool. Right, I'm gonna throw another eye up here. We're gaming right now. Still about the same direction. No breaks yet. And I've done some things to play it like pretty safe this run. But we got a really, really good nether entrance. It was only attempt number two. Attempt number one, we got like the worst nether ever and it, I, and it was super, super rusty. I probably could have beaten the seed if I wasn't super rusty. I guess we got a bastion too. So this seed was maybe kind of lucky. Hello, Keith. Or Keith Rim. Sorry, thanks for the raid. Were you playing, were you doing your Minecraft playthrough or how was the stream? What were you playing? That changed a lot, so we're probably right on it.
Thanks for the good luck, dude. And the raid. Oh yeah, I did see that. I hope that was fun. I played two, right? I don't think I ever finished it. I think it's gonna move to my right now. Oh, we're like, okay. So now we're gonna look for the chunk that it's pointing directly at, which is probably one of these two chunks I'm beside here. So I'll go right beside both of them, throw the eye. And it's pointing at the next chunk. I have no idea if that eye broke or not, but we have plenty. So we're just gonna leave it. And I'll go right in the center of this chunk for a no run. And when it did, it was this chunk, okay. And my eye. Okay, we have how many eyes? Uh, let's go check if that one didn't break. Might be on top of the tree. It is on top of the tree. And we'll dig in the, so there's these, these coordinates here, uh, will be your coordinates in the particular chunk you're in. Each chunk is 16 blocks. So these coordinates will be either one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 to 16. Same with this one telling you what part of the chunk you're in and the entrance to the stronghold will always be on four, four. So we'll go to four, four, which is about here four six. The entrance is uh, pretty wide. So if you're right on 4-4, you'll drop straight down to the bottom, take some fall damage. If you have a bucket in your hand, you can do the MLG water bucket strat and you won't take the fall damage. But 46 is, is just as good. <laughs> uh, throw some, some of this away. And now we're in the spooky stronghold. But usually the portal room is on average within like five to eight rooms of the starting staircase. So if we go down one path really, really far and we don't find it, we just come back pretty much. Uh, this is a little bit scary. <laughs> the other ways first. Nothing that way, nothing that way. I'll check down these stairs and then we're getting pretty far from the entrance. So we'll probably go back up in a second. Some food, is that it? I think I see it though. Can I, can I have that in my hand? Oh, wait, that's not it. Um, those are creepers. Oh! So if it's not down here, it's definitely back. Yeah, I don't think it would be this far. Abandoned mineshaft in the stronghold? That is average. <laughs> uh, there's no door. Or there's no uh, button on the door, unfortunately. It's honestly average, though. <laughs> We checked all those paths. It's because it, it's so big, right? And mine shafts are actually pretty common. Sometimes there's hidden rooms this way. And there it is. And we could do a little strat like this. So now no one can touch me. And there's two eyes. Every single um, one of these little blocks has a chance at spawning. Uh, what is it a 10% chance at spawning an eye in there already more RNG to go into your amazingly filled RNG run uh, I didn't really phrase that right there's a lot of RNG in the run and there's more to it right at the end now I'll turn on the hitboxes so I can see the dragon's hitbox I have pearls to waste so we can chuck some pearls to get there even quicker I'm probably gonna screw this up, but that and just to give myself extra time, we'll go over here. He might have actually perched if I didn't go over here right away, because now he's whatever. Everything's fine. And we'll build up. Um th there is a faster way to do this. There's a couple faster ways to do this. But the way I'm doing it is I'm going to one side and going really, really far away by going up. Or upwards of the where he'll he'll perch. 
or yeah, the, the 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 little fountain that he perches at. The higher up we go, the farther away from it we are, and the farther away from it we are, then the more likely he is to perch. Good to always have at least one block, so I can wait till he shoots at me and then go one block higher. And some food. I don't really want to build with gravel until we get high enough. And he'll go to the opposite side of where I am now when he wants to perch. Or I believe the dragon is a she, based off of the game's lore. I don't really know. I don't think it matters. I don't think the dragon... Uh, uh, I, I, mean, I don't know. Either way, it's a dragon. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty scary. Yeah. Pretty much. <clears throat> um, so the reason they're, um, I go, um, well, this is called East West, I believe, because you always spawn on, I believe that's the East side and we're on the West side now. And the dragon will always perch on the opposite side. The reason why this is slower than going North South, uh, North would be my, uh, right, left, and then South would be that way is because the dragon doesn't climb up this big tower. Uh, I kind of screwed up, but he didn't reach me. We're meant to have blocks in my hand. Get kind of lucky. I would have just jumped down and thrown a pearl at the ground before we hit the ground. Um, the reason it's faster to go north south is because the dragon doesn't perch over one of the big towers and go all the way up before coming down. So it takes the dragon longer to come down as it's perching, but it requires you to be quicker at it. Uh, so far, we've been getting pretty unlucky. You can get perches within a minute doing this strat. My PB probably takes about two minutes. But uh, really, not much else we can do. I can, um, one thing we can do is actually shoot the towers. It should minip him to perch somewhat sooner. It looks like he's going to perch anyways now, though, now that I started doing it. Yeah, he will perch, so we'll get rid of that. <laughs> I'll hold an axe in my hand in case we screw up real bad and we go to smack him. And then he just snapped his head towards the middle, so he's perching. I want his head to be rotating where my mouse is, like this. That means we're on the right side. If we're on the opposite side and his head is rotating, or the dragon's head is rotating like this, then we're probably going to do less damage with our beds. Place the bed like there. Wait till the head gets right on top of the bed, or the hitbox of the head gets on top of the bed. Then we blow him up. And then we can throw down two beds really quickly at the end to get the last bit of damage, like a second or two faster. And for swag, we'll throw that. Oh, we almost died. Okay. And GG. So yeah, this would be good for a submission kind of sort of, because it looked like just a kind of a random seed. Um, the only thing is we might have gotten kind of lucky with this seed. Because there was a village. And I went to the village and saw a lava pool here, which isn't that absurd. And this village kind of sucks for food. Like we had to be... Uh, half of the village is just getting beds and iron, and we found iron there, which was cool. But we didn't find food, so it kind of sucked. And then when we went in the nether, there was a bastion right there, which was really, really, really handy. If there's a bastion, I am, like, way more confident I can actually finish the run, especially if it's this close. Whereas there, it might be, we, we might get some seeds, like, um... I can always leave this in the in the VOD too for the submission if it seems like it's uh, good information to know for a submission. But we just go into any random